what's up guys? Today we're going to review poutine at Centennial College in the uh, student center. So I've tried this poutine a few times before. And I'll start off by saying there are quite a few things that could be corrected and some things that are good. And now I'll get into it. So of course, you've seen last time I reviewed the McDonald's poutine. And analyze this step by step. From the fries to the gravy to the price, the whole package. But this time I'll value the same thing, but I'll go into greater detail. So as you can see, here's the poutine. However, this poutine is a bit old. I've had it. I mean it's not freshly made. I haven't finished it as of yet. But here's an example of how it looks when it's fresh. As you can see, it's an appealing look. The gravy looks nice, the cheese is nice and curved, curvy. The fries is nice. Some fries are long, some fries are a little bit shorter. Yep. And you know, overall, looking at it, it draws you in. Right. So I can say from the uh, an appeal standpoint, the gravy is nice, eye-catching, shiny, the cheese is nicely wrapped around it. I'd say it has a good appeal. The design is not bad, although a little bit plain. Just the black box. However, design not very important when it comes to food. What is important is the taste. However, it does play a role because obviously you need it to be drawn in to have you feel some kind of desire before eating it. So I would say decent design, you know, it's a little plain, and definitely from looking at it, I would say it's appealing. So just from the appearance standpoint, I would say it's. I would give it a 6 out of 10. Ah, uh, alright. Now, next we'll move into the taste. Now, of course, it's not my poutine, so I'm gonna get back to this one. Now, first I'll start with the fries. Fries is good. Nice soft taste, you know, the fries are not that small either, decently sized fries, tastes soft, okay, we take one more try. Fries are good, I would say there's not much I can complain about it, but the fries lack some of the crunch. It's very soft, but I like to have a mixture, you know, it's a little bit of crunch, a little bit less salt. So I would say, the fries are overall good, but I would, it would be better if there was more crunch to it, and a little bit less salt, you know, tasting quite a bit of salt, but overall, good fries. I would give it, I would say, a 6 out of 10 as well. Ah, that's better McDonald's. So, next we'll move on to the gravy. Now the difference with McDonald's and this, not only the fries as I just mentioned, but this has substantially more and the gravy is uh, a lot more as well. McDonald's gravy was not as much and it was very hard to taste. It was blended in with mostly cheese and fries. But this you can actually taste the gravy quite clearly. I can actually pick it up, get a little bit McDonald's I couldn't. If I tried to pick it up, I would pick up other fries or cheese, but now I can clearly pick up just gravy. Well, there's a bit of cheese in there, but... Now the gravy... It tastes okay, however, it's also quite salty. So the salt kind of ruins the flavor in some ways. Let me try one more. Okay. The gravy is its not too thick, not too thin, a decent mixture amount of gravy, kind of sticky. I would say it's okay, my biggest issue is just how salty it tastes. So, if I were to rate the gravy, I would give it a 5 out of 10. Now, next we'll move on to the cheese. 
So as you can see, as you can see from this picture, um, this example, I should say, yes. the, gray, the the cheese is, you know, it has a nice appeal to it. The shape is nice. It's nice and, you know, very soft. And it's the kind of cheese that does melt in your mouth. Now, what I do like is unlike Dairy Queen and unlike McDonald's, this cheese melts in your mouth. It doesn't taste like rubber. And actually, it's soft, it's liquidy, and it's easy to eat. You don't chew it and feel it's like rubber. This one is good. However, it also has some of that salty taste, but not as much as the gravy. A little bit less than the fries. So I would say I like this, the cheese so far. Although, it doesn't really blend in with the poutine as well. Like, it's not bad in any shape or form. But some poutines, when you make the cheese, the flavor of the cheese goes together with the flavor of the fries and gravy a little bit better. This one, not so much. So overall, I'll give the cheese a 6 out of 10. Now, I've re reviewed the appearance. Give the appearance a 6 out of 10. The gravy, a 5 out of 10. And the cheese, a 6 out of 10. So, now we'll look at the price. And as you can see, here's an example of the portion. You have an A from this here. The price is about 540. Okay. With taxes, it's um, 610. Okay. So as you can see, it's a decent portion. This is enough to keep you somewhat filled. And it's not for a bad price. With tax, it's 610, right? Yeah. Now, that's a good deal. When you look at most other places, for example, McDonald's was how much? 449. 449. And it was substantially less than this, much less than this is. Yeah. And I would say it was a lot less. The prices were still less. But we're looking at comparing the prices with this and McDonald's, this has a much better price. Compared to other poutine places, this price, I would say, is pretty good. Pretty good price according to the portion. And although it may look not that big when you eat it, then you'll see that it's not the biggest thing to eat, but it's filling. And so I would give this price maybe 6.5 out of 10. And so overall, all right. So, I reviewed, first I reviewed its appearance, then the fries, then the cheese, then the gravy, and last the price. Yeah. Five things I've graded. And I've given a 6.5 on the price, a 6 on its appeal, a 6 on the fries, a 5 on the gravy, and a six on the cheese. So, I'll get Irvin, my mat tutor. Great, to calculate the price. So overall. 5.9 out of 10. So, overall, I give this 59%. McDonald's, on the other hand, was, I believe, was... 16, 13. I believe it failed. 15. It was a 45% of the McDonald's. It was, I think it was 1.9%. Oh, it was 45. What? It was 45. 45? Oh, okay. So McDonald's failed. I gave it a 45%. This on the other end passes. It's essentially better than McDonald's, better prices, better quality, better appeal. And overall, I give it a pass with a 59%. So, what I can say is, this poutine is a uh, pretty good poutine, and I'd say it's definitely worth eating and it's worth your money as well. So remember to, if you're gonna drop by Centennial, go to Student Center and try their poutine. I think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it, and I think it'll be worth it. And what I can say is, overall, there are a lot of places better, that have much better poutine than this, but this poutine is definitely not, not bad in any shape or form. And it's definitely worth trying. And worth your money as well. So make sure to stop by and grab some poutine at the Student Center at Centennial College Progress Campus. And that's all for today.